Morning boys and girls, BP back here. Thursday morning, June 4th. And we're heading back into that same field we were disking in yesterday. Cause after I got done disking everything out here, I got to thinking, you know, she plowed up pretty god darn nice, I think. And they're calling for basically a week of rain. And I'm thinking if I get a week of rain, I've got about 200 pounds of friggin' grass seed at home. Like basically the whole field looks like that right there. Like I don't know what you guys think, but like that spot right there, it's a little lumpier, but not bad. And there's a little spot right there that's the same way. But generally, this field plowed up pretty god darn nice. We did it two times yesterday. So, I'm going to hit it with the harrows. There we are. There's the harrows. The friggin' wind is howling like crazy again. No friggin' ball cap and the hair is all over the place. But anyway. So yeah, we just got into the field. I'm gonna hit this sucker with the harrows. And then we might, if it all harrows up nice, I'll come back and there's a few stones sitting up on top. And if it uh, works out good and we get this rain, I might try seeding this 25 acre piece to this grass. I've had this grass for about six friggin' years. I don't know if it's any good or not, but I could grab a little bit and put it in a friggin' dish and with a little wet paper towel or something. That's how I test our oats and barley seeds when we do it for a germ test. And I could do the same thing maybe with this grass seed. I don't know how long it's got to be in there for, but I'm sure I could Google it and find out quite easily. Anyways, let's get this sucker folded out and get going in this field. Talk to you in a bit. Now you can see it all folded out there. So you gotta actually back up quite a ways. Like, I backed up 15 yards from way over there. You can see my tracks. Anyway, she's all folded out now. Come over here. Make sure this piece is tight. Like so. And that one is there tight like so. And then this guy right here. Flip him over like that. It catches there and there. And this is our locked down so that clevis just goes through that link there and then the pin through the hole safety pin like so that way that can't lift up for whatever reason and we're good to go I'm going to set you guys over here like so and let's make this happen, right? Arrows down. There we go. Speed up. See if I can take out the friggin' fence. 
Oh, ho. Wouldn't that be something for y'all to see? Me taking the fence out on freaking YouTube. That ought to get some freaking comments in a hurry, I'd say. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna keep on doing this, and I'll bring you back in a little while. Oh, here's another thing. See all these trees? They're not that old. Some of these are pretty young, actually. Fairly young trees. You see up ahead there? The wind has been so strong that it's just snapping these young guys off. Like I've got some old trees in this field or along the fence line that aren't broken, but all of these young ones, like, it's freaking crazy. Look how they're breaking. So unless they got a bug involved with them also, that is uh, causing them to break, but it's snapping them off, because the wind is always seems to be blowing almost always from the northwest. And then the freaking trees fall on top of my fence, of course. Just what a guy needs, right? So, anyways, we'll come back to you in a little while. Talk to you later. Hey guys, got ha done harrowing that field over there. And uh, the wife came out. So, we decided to come and check on our uncertified haymaker oats. in our organic rented land and there you go it's coming up the rows are there she's coming up so that's always nice to see Now if we can get some rain, again, this stuff should take right off. On another note, me and my big hair, and there's the wife. Say hi, babe. Hi. Today is my parents' wedding anniversary. How about that one, guys? Third, uh, how many years is it for now? 60. 60 years. How about that? 60 years, they're still together. Happy anniversary, Ma and Pa. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary. Happy, 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 happy. <laughs> Goodbye. Well, we're uh, in the pasture. You guys seen me harrowing this pasture once before. But I had, it was pretty wet back then. And we had lots of lumps, so uh, I decided since I'm hooked up to the harrows, let's freaking hit these heavy spots one more time, right? So we're just trying to thin these heavy piles down a little bit more. I actually got a couple of harrows there that the chains broke on, so I'll have to get that fixed up. But for now, it's still holding out, so I can hopefully get this job done. She's a nasty field. There's lots of gopher holes and gopher hills out here. So the harrows might help to level those out a little bit more, too. Hope everybody out in the world is doing a lot better with all this corona. I said quite a while ago I was going to keep posting videos throughout the corona and try and do daily ones, so I think I'm doing pretty good. You guys let me know. Tell your friends to come on board and check out BCP Farm and Trucking because they always got something going on.
If he's not trying to be a farmer, he's trying to be a trucker. And if he's not trying to be a trucker, he's trying to be a welder. So there's always something going on. I had a phone call from the brother this morning. If some of you guys will remember, we were building gates, crowd gates, hanging gates for my brother's place. Well, he phoned me, he went and mounted them, and one of them is built four inches too long. It doesn't work, apparently. I blame the guy that measured the gate holes. He blames me. Doesn't matter. He said he's got another spot. He could use it. And he wants me to build him another one for that spot and cover for a uh, couple other gate areas. 16 foot gates this time not this 10 and 11 and 12 or 10 foot 6 and 11 foot 5 and 11 foot 3 and so on and so forth so he needs a couple of bigger 16 footers that he can drive equipment through but he said them gates are heavy they have to use a tractor to friggin mount a couple of them even so that's always a good thing to hear when the customer is happy with even if you did make a boo-boo, he's still just really impressed with the quality of work he was getting and how heavy everything is built and with the price tag that he paid. He's quite pleased. So that's always good to see in here. But anyway, guys, we're going to continue with these piles and try and work them down a little more. And then we'll see what happens for the rest of the day. Talk to you then. Well, hey guys, we're back, we're at home here and I decided to come for a drive and check on the cows out in the bush pasture here. And they hear the truck, they're pretty good, they come, they come running to see what the heck's going on. Got a couple out here that haven't calved yet. somebody with their head down in the trees, bushes over here. I think she's just eating grass. Bit of a slough bottom down there. A lot of deadfall down here. Yeah, she's just having a drink and nibbling on some slough grass. Hey girl, kinda surprised her, she wasn't expecting me. Look how all these trees are blown down from the wet years. They just kinda died off and they're all falling down. Sorry about the wind, but this is a calm area kind of protected by the trees a little bit. A couple more weeks and we'll be bringing the bulls out here with these girls. Waiting for this one right here to calve this black white face girl. She's done. Nothing new happening here. Anyway, guys, I think I've got enough on here for a video for you guys all today. So, give us the old thumbs up. Like the video. Comment. Subscribe. Check us out on Facebook. Catch me there at Brendan Panna Facebook. And let's get her done.